What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Version. They all play. I'm Eddie, and here we go. Alright, so what we're gonna try to pull off today, we're gonna try to train up our Geodude and our Otch. Um, uh, we went in and put Geodude as our first Pokemon. Um, we're gonna work on getting uh, her up to standard. You know, the first thing that we're gonna try doing is taking on all the trainers in this area. Um, they are significantly higher level than Geodude is, but that's not a problem. Excuse me, Burp City. Um, not a problem. We will just go ahead and, and jam with uh, Charmeleon and, and Pikachu, and hopefully get to the point where we are all good. Have a high level Pokemon all the way around. Um, let me see if I have a berry that can heal. Oh, I'll wake up. Cure poison. Here we go. All right. So we went ahead and, and healed Charmeleon of his poison. Um, poison just really frustrates me. <laughs> it's a move that I don't really um, enjoy. So it is what it is. But um, so here's the deal, guys. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this let's play, and I hope you guys are as well. And it leads me to believe that. Uh, maybe I should do some other Pokemon Let's Plays. Um, the main one on my mind is um, is Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Um, now I do have both of those, and I have the ability to record those. If you guys would be interested in watching those? Go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know that. Um, it'd be awesome to have your vote on another Pokemon Let's Play to do. Uh, we're getting into the thick of this one. Um, so, I mean, it's up to you um, as to kind of how you want all of this to play out, but I'll know based on how many views each video gets, sort of what the popularity level of all of them are. Um, give me a heads up and let me know. I'd be happy to um, adjust what I'm doing to make sure that you guys are, are seeing the content that you want to use. So, um, yeah, I thought for a moment there that we could take on Magnemite with just Geodude. Given that it's not like the type, but Sonic Moon is one of those moves that I really can't you know, adjust from. I'm gonna go ahead and keep on switching back and forth. Geodude's already gained three levels. It's substantial in a short amount of time. Um, I'm thinking we want to get him up to around about level 16, something like that, and, uh, and work with it from there. I also want to invite you guys to go ahead and check out our. Um, other Let's Play that we started of uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, doing the Master Quest version for um, the Project 64 emulator, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's different than uh, the original game that I grew up on. It's just the dungeons are arranged different, and it's nice to not go through a game and, and uh, understand where everything is ahead of time. I have to do a little bit more investigating. Um, Legend of Zelda is one of those games that you know it really. It was a game that I grew up with. You know, I have a lot of um, very close feelings with that. Um, I have a lot of attachment to that, you know, just from my childhood and stuff like that. Um, honestly, it's a fun game. I enjoy playing it. I have been uh, enjoying it over the past couple of uh, the past week. Um, so if you guys would be interested, go ahead and check out that video. Uh, you know, it should be a lot of fun, really. Should have a pretty good time with that. Huh. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper tonight. Just getting uh, that. Burps. Excuse me. I've been in forever. It's been a long time. I don't know if soda just affects me more or whatever. I've been it for a while, but. Excuse me. Um. Alright, what I am gonna go ahead and do while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and open the TNT. And I'm gonna get out. Um. I'm gonna get out cut. I'm gonna go ahead and teach it to Hotch. Um, I don't plan on using. 
Ooh, Revile Queen or anything like that, but it's nice to have Oddish around for the time being defense. It is super effective against, um, or not super effective against, uh, not affected by electricity as much as some kind of form that I have. So, it's always nice. Um, honestly, right now, with a level 30 Charmeleon, I think we can take on uh, Lieutenant Surge, but I do want to make sure that you know, we're not going to get snuck up on like we were whenever we fought Mystique earlier on. So, it's be a good thing to get some training in and uh, get to a point where all around, we're fairly comfortable with our team. I'm going to go ahead and put Oddish out. We prefer a little bit of experience. I've been a pretty busy guy recently. Um, I haven't been able to put very much time to recording as I originally was. Um, working two jobs now, so just one. Or, um, the, the second of my two jobs it takes up a, a little bit more time than I, not that I anticipated, but it's a job that I enjoy doing. I'm a, I'm a youth pastor and I'm uh, really enjoying uh, working with youth and investing in the kids' lives. Um, therefore, I'm investing a lot of my time into it. In my opinion, with most jobs, what you get out of it is directly removed. So I want to put it more into the camera. It's just worth it in my opinion. Um, so, um, as I said, I haven't been able to do much time in recording as maybe I would like, but at the same time, I'm getting a lot of valuable experience from what I am. So, um, I hope you guys are, are cool with that. I, got, I hope you guys aren't too mad at me for maybe not recording as much, but, um, you know. I'm still putting out videos, so just about every day. That's a lot more often than a lot of YouTube channels on here. Um, it is my goal to become a YouTube partner and maybe stop working at one of my jobs so I can give up more time to this one. But for the time being, money becomes tight, and you know you gotta do what you gotta do. So, in my opinion, um, it kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? You know? Said you gotta do what you gotta do. It's just the way that it is. So we were able to take on this Growler, which you did by yourself. Um, learning magnitude, which is awesome. I'm gonna unlearn once more. I don't know, I wouldn't ever use that. Uh, I'm gonna leave you to the just to see if we can take on both things. That's not bad, to be honest with you. Um, I'm okay with Mankey coming out, you know, Roar kind of sucks, but whatever, deal with it. Um, crap, we're already to the point where Geodude can take on, um, Pokemon by itself. And that only means that we're gonna have to start training Oddish here pretty soon. Probably one more level with Geodude, and then we'll move on Let me just go ahead and sub Charmeleon in. Now what I may end up doing, now that I'm thinking about it, is um, for maybe one of the, the DS games to, to play, where it's black, white, um, heart, gold, or soul, soul silver, uh, either way, I think uh, it may be in our benefit to do maybe a Nuzlocke um, version. I hope you guys would enjoy seeing that. Um, but it's something that I have on my radar. It'll just be um, kind of fun to do. I've never done one of those before. It, basically, it's special rules that pertain to different uh, ways of going through the game, uh, such as you know limitations on which Pokemon you can catch, 
um, you know, Pokemon Saints, or something like that, so, um, I don't know if you guys would enjoy seeing that, but comment down below, I hate having to repeat that over and over or whatever, but, um, it really, it's really the only way that I, that lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos, perhaps, and things like that, um, do, do it. We're getting to the point where um, I'm not, I don't remember. Never really used Oddish. Oddish isn't one of those Pokemon that I've used excessively. Um, so I don't remember when it evolved. Uh, I think it might be level 16. I know it's around there, maybe 18. Got a Great Ball. So now I have two of those actually. Um, I'm going to cut right through the, the tall grass back towards the town. It's a drowsy. Hmm. Hmm. I may be interested in catching this drowsy. It can withstand maybe one attack of Pikachu. I consider catching it. Okay. Now it's paralyzed. I think I'm going to toss a broken ball. Let's see what we end up with. Got it, nice. Definitely definitely worth it to have a psychic Pokemon around. But I mean it's easier to train than Abra starting out, in my opinion. Um I'm gonna hit the Pokemon Center. And then I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and try to take on Lieutenant Surge. I wasn't planning on doing this till the next episode, but we trained quick enough that I think we're in pretty good shape. And down. And come down this tree. And enter. Alright, done. I'm gonna go ahead and fight the trainer just because I don't want to avoid them. I want to use them as training opportunity. Um, which may mean that we need to exit and go to the Pokemon Center, but uh, either way, we should be in pretty good shape. Luckily, we didn't get this with that. I just get a level 15, and we're in level 30. It means we're five levels away from being involved, which should happen if, if history holds true. Charmeleon should evolve inside of Rock. Um, that's just what I've experienced in the past, and it's, it's held true enough. Pick out that guy pretty easily. No uh, status changes, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and keep on training Oddish just because I want to see if it evolves to level 60. Nice. Got a good hit on that one. Go ahead and embrace uh, sweet sand for stun support. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you dude get the rest of this experience out. Excellent. That's exciting. Now yeah, he's almost level 18. Okay, so apparently Oddish does not evolve the level 6. It's kind of interesting to me how these older guys, most of the guys that you encounter in the game, are older. Have a, uh, you know, whether they're gentlemen or whatever, they're, they're older men, all adults. Um, really, I mean. They talk a lot about war, like this topic of war comes up, and so it makes me wonder if there's maybe more to the story that hasn't been told yet, or, um, and I mean, I haven't played a lot of the recent, more recent games, so I don't know if they go back in time, or if they deal with a time before this, or what, but, um, it'd be interesting to hear, maybe from, um, 
the creators of Pokemon, whether there was some sort of, wow, uh, pre-red and blue version war that took place. Um, Lieutenant Serg mentions it, that older gentleman mentioned it, and, uh, it would just be interesting in my opinion to kind of hear and see if maybe there's more of the story that hasn't been told yet. So now we gotta try to find some switches. Um, Alright, so let's see if this one has the other switch. Nope, okay. Crap. I've never done this fast. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay. Ah! Oh, okay. Apparently, if you choose the wrong one. If it's on the edge, then there's. Close to a one in three chance. Okay. All right. Cool. We were able to get the, the doors open fairly quickly. And now we're here to take on Lieutenant Surge. Now I did make a mistake, and I did not take um, Anish out from the first. But that's not terrible because I could do this. I had to hit it with poison. Let the oops, not too close. And let the poison sort of uh, overtake the Pokemon here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put. Uh, I'm gonna put Mankey just to see how long he lasts. Um, I don't anticipate it being terribly long. Like this will probably take him up. Okay, no. Yeah. Okay. At least we got Lieutenant Surge to waste his super potion. Um, and if we can. We lost Mankey too. Let's go ahead and throw a Drowsy out just to see if between poison and maybe we can hit it with. Uh, This episode with you. I know, I mean, it's been a longish episode, but it hasn't been terribly long. Um, right, so now we're dealing with the fact that he's using a uh, double team to get us to this, and he's gonna start chipping away at us. Oh, we were able to get a good jump. I mean, that's kind of lucky, right there. And we defeat Lieutenant Surge without using our two strongest Pokemon. That's just... That's, that's shocking to me. And that is a pun, and that is intended. I hope you all enjoyed that. <laughs> it's shocking. Okay. Um, this lets us use Fly outside of battle. We won't get Fly for a little bit, but... Um, we get Shockwave. I, I think Shockwave is one of those moves that never ends. I think that's what's so special about it. So let me check this out. Because um, I'm going to teach it to... Yeah, it can't be evaded. I'm going to teach it to Pikachu. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and forget Quick Attack. Quick Attack's fun and it's all good and it attacks first or whatever. I'd rather have a move that can't be evaded. Any other electric move doesn't hurt us. By any means. Um, so, we managed to get the upset um, without using our two strongest Pokemon against Lieutenant Surge. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I know I've enjoyed filming it, and I hope that um, you guys stick around. We got another episode coming up, and it's, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and 
travel back up north uh, and get to the point where we are very close to uh, Rock Tunnel. We're going to make our way over that direction. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, look forward to our content. Um, we've got some good stuff planned, some good stuff in the works. Um, had a lot of fun with, with this. Um, so, like I said, guys, stick around for the next episode. It's going to be awesome. Um, peace, enjoy yourselves. See you later.